loop presets I'll use. So we can kind of let's talk about this one. So speaking of hard edge stuff, we'll grab a cylinder here, and we'll go ahead and um, make poly mesh 3D, and we'll crease it, and we'll turn on dynamic, and we'll apply it. So, and we'll also go in here to geometry, and we will delete lower. So we just have geometry here. So if I go through, and let's say I slice this thing into separate poly groups here. I can go into my panel loop presets, and this is a plugin you can get from Gumroad. Uh, Joseph Dresden, um, Chi Vang, I think, made this. Uh, but there's a bunch of bunch of presets in here. So if we wanted to like, you know, have this uh, bump in and give me a little bevel, I can hit that, and then it say accept the selected preset. Hit yes, and you can go through here, and that'll give you that panel loop. And if you don't like it, you can hit Control Z. And it still keeps those panel loop settings for you. So you can go into geometry. Um, so here's all the panel loops that's set up. You can change the thickness if you want to. Um, you can change uh, to your liking. You can change the polish settings if you want to. Um, let's go ahead and do, so we kind of put a panel loop, like slice through here, and then we'll panel loop this. There we go. So that's like one panel loop you can do. Um, if you didn't like that panel loop, go back to your panel loop presets. You can store your own custom presets right here. Uh, if we wanted to do like a tighter one with rounded edges that cuts in, we can click that one and say, yes, we'll accept the accepted preset. And then there's the result. And again, you can hit Control-Z and then again, go in here and change your settings to kind of get you kind of dial in the panels that you want to kind of cut that stuff in. And then you can do Control-Shift, Control-Shift-A. And then now you can see these are separate things and all your panel loop options are available to you. So 